Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's episode, we're going to count down the top 20 outro guitar solos of all time. So when you think of outro guitar solos, you think of probably things like this. That's actually not an outro guitar solo because they're singing after that. That's, a, that's obviously Stairway to Heaven. I'm talking about solos that are actually are at the very end of the song. Many times they go into the fade when you have fade outs. Okay, so how am I judging these? Well, one of the things is, is it a new section musically? That's really important to an outro. Is it improvised? Is it worked out? Does it have a, a dual lead, like a harmonized part to it? Does it have great feel, meaning the timing, the groove is great? Is it melodic? Is it anthemic? You're going to know a bunch of the songs on this list. Maybe not in what order I'm going to choose them, but you're going to say, oh yeah, of course that's on the list. Coming in at number 20. John Mayer, Gravity Live. What I love about this is this. Keep it going now. Keep it going now mean I'm going to solo. So he's playing harmonics and bending above the nut. Beautiful. One thing about John's playing is that in addition to having really a great sense of melody he's got incredibly good time great feel great rhythm coming in at number 19 is the epic outro from dream theater's 2005 release entitled octavarium check it out Coming in at number 18 is a classic outro that you know is going to be on this list. So here it is. Oof. Okay, I just uploaded the video and it got blocked. The only one that blocked it was Freebird of all songs, right? There it is. I already did it. But apparently now Leonard Skinner can't be played on YouTube. Who knew? I've actually had them in other videos. Coming in at number 17 is a band out of the UK that happens to be called UK. This song is from the 1978 release, the first release of the band UK, which featured Alan Holdsworth on guitar, Eddie Jobson, John Wetton, and Bill Bruford on the drums. The song's called Nevermore. Check it out. Coming in at number 16 is a song off this band's debut record, which was released in 1978. A lot of records released in 1978 with great guitar playing. This song is called Songs of Swing, Mark Knopfler. I 
love this. And then this. And then this part. Coming in at number 15 is a song released in 1983 off this band's record entitled Out of the Cellar. If you're into 80s metal guitar, you know this guitar solo. Outro solo number 14 is from this band's 1980 release, happened to be the year I graduated from high school, entitled Permanent Waves. Here it is. Coming in at 13 is a song which was released in 1974. One of my favorite guitar players, and I actually talked about this particular out chorus solo on an episode a couple years ago on my channel. Here it is. <laughs> I love that. Using that major minor pentatonic scale together, it's amazing. Outro solo number 12 is from this band's 1975 release entitled Fandango. I brought in my good friend Rhett Shaw to play slide guitar on this. For those of you that don't follow Rhett's channel, follow it. It'll be in the description below. Coming in at number 11 is a solo that I've never actually learned before because it's really weird, but it's so cool. Here it is. Love those. Totally so hip. Okay, here we are in the top 10. Outro solo number 10 is Larry Carlton's solo from Kid Charlemagne. The first solo he does in this song is one of the greatest of all time, and this one is equally as good. This is from Steely Dan's 1976 release entitled Royal Scam. Here it is. Coming in at number nine is a song whose 40th anniversary is this month, right now. It is really what an outro solo should be, and it's a song that probably all of you think is going to be on this list. Check it out.
number eight is actually the ending solo to the song that was number one on my top 20 guitar solos of all time. I don't think the solo is quite as good as the first solo in the song, although a lot of people in the comments section said this solo was the better solo, but I don't agree. But it still comes in at number eight. Here it is. Coming in at number seven is a guitarist that I don't usually feature in my rock guitar videos because I consider him a blues guitarist. And everybody always complains about it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna put him in this video. He's one of my favorite guitar players and I brought Rhett back to play this song. Check it out. Number six is probably one of the most famous outro guitar solos of all time. It's by a band that I can't mention on my channel because they're notorious blockers. I featured it in my top 20 solos of all time. It has to be on this list, but I have to do an abridged version of it. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, now we're down to the top five. Every time I do these videos, I say any of these top five could be number one, and they can. This particular outro solo is one of about eight solos in the song. This also happens to be from what I think is one of the best guitar records of the 70s. And the artist happens to be a person that I've interviewed on my channel. Here it is. <laughs> Coming in at number four, I'll just tell you who it is. It's Van Halen. Now, I thought, well, Van Halen is probably going to be number one on this list, right? But Van Halen actually doesn't really have any outros on their songs that have guitar leads. All his solos are in the middle of the song, and I'm not including Eruption in this. So I thought, who can I get to play Van Halen that can really do it right? So I call my buddy Phil X, and for those of you that don't know Phil X, you should follow his YouTube channel. He is a great guitar player, one of my favorite guitar players, and one of my really dear friends. Here it is. Oh, oh. Coming in at number three is a solo from a song that I've also featured on my channel before. It's one of my favorite outro guitar solos of all time. It has a great chord progression that's different than the rest of the song. And the solo is just as amazing as the bass line that goes under it. Here it is. <laughs> Song number two was also featured in my top 20 rock guitar solos of all time, but it was the first solo that happens in the song. This is the outro solo. This is from a record that came out in 1982, and it goes like this.
I love that one lick in there that he does. <laughs> That little bebop part where he's going. So cool. Before we get to number one, I want to address something related to honorable mentions. Some of you may be wondering on this channel why you never see Jimi Hendrix or Prince or Slash or Randy Rhodes. Because all of those artists block videos. I can't do a what makes this song great. I can not include them in these lists, even if they belong in here because you can't play them on YouTube. You can't even do cover versions of them. The fact of the matter is, I can't upload a video with any of their songs on it. That's why they're not on here. There's a few other honorable mentions. Ramblin' Man could have been on this list, or even Headed for a Heartbreak, Winger. Red Beach's end solo is a killer outro solo. But that is why those songs do not appear on any of my videos. Coming in at number one, this particular guitar solo I think is the greatest outro guitar solo of all time for a number of reasons. Number one, it has a completely different chord progression from the rest of the song. Number two, it has a dual lead, but yet it sounds improvised. It's not all a dual lead. It's actually back and forth between two completely different guitar sounds, kind of like Hotel California, but not perfect. Another reason is I've never seen anyone actually cover this properly where they played all the right notes because it's almost impossible. It's so idiosyncratic to the guitar player. It's unbelievably melodic. That's one of the most important things here is that you can sing the entire solo. And it is a long solo. So here it is coming in at number one for what I think is the greatest outro rock guitar solo of all time. Hit your ride, Boston. Beautiful melody. So it's D, A minor, G, D. Chords change in the bass right here. Bass back to the pedal tone. Beautiful. All those different changes make it incredibly beautiful. Those dual leads are so melodic. Some of these licks are very, very hard to play, too. Are they just... So good. This part. Oh, that is so hard. Love it. And then 
bass. Then. Okay, so there's my list. I know that many of you probably disagree with my choices, which is great. Put in what your choices are. Give me either ones that you would have swapped out or give me an entire top 20 list. Also, if you want to see other videos on other top 20 topics, let me know what they are. It's actually really helpful. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. The new Beato book 4.0 is out. Check it out. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out the new Beato Ear Training program. If you go to beatoeartraining.com, watch the introduction video. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thank you so much for watching. Oh,